So I'm really glad that Jesse pays attention to his marketing email because uh, he ran across this from Williams Brewing. Uh, they sent him a nice promo email about the Kegland Oxbar 2.2 gallon kegs. Eight liter. Eight for liters. Those of you not in the US. Yeah, yeah. So these things are super cool. We always run into a problem sharing beer back and forth because, you know, who wants to bottle anything or fill up a growler? And I've got one gallon and a half keg. And uh, it, it's just a pain in the butt to fill that up and pass it back and forth. Where these, they're made of some magical plastic. PET. 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 I don't know. Do, do I think it's PET. Yeah. I, I say PET. I've always heard people say PET. Yeah. yeah instead yeah. of pet. No. They don't say pet. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, PET. Give me the pet bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the dog bowl. No, not that. <laughs> that's not what I'm talking about. But uh, I think they put some interesting polymers in here. Yeah, that's to kind of make it stronger and more expensive. No, <laughs> polymers are more expensive. Uh, no, but yeah, they make it stronger and more oxygen resistant. Yeah, right? like three hundred percent less oxygen will get through it. Yep. Yeah, and they suggest storing the beer for uh, up to six months. Yeah. Yeah. Which is, uh, you know, if you're taking six months to drink this much beer, you're doing it wrong. Yeah. That's the way yeah. I look at it. Yeah. So even bad beer could probably go through that in six months. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So the price point, though, is amazing. So before I mention this, we are not sponsored by Kegland. They didn't give us this keg. They don't give us any equipment. So, uh, but the the keg, the starter kit we bought was, I think it was $25, right? It was actually or $40. $40, $38 right Thir now. For two kegs, two taps. Well, one tap. Oh, one tap, okay. Two, oh, yeah, yeah, two yeah. caps. That's right, yeah. Sorry. Two kegs, one tap, this head, yep. and two caps. Yep. And over on more beer, they sell them individually, and the keg is 10 bucks. I was yep. like, I'm going to end up with 100 of these because I'm always like $8 short of free shipping. Oh, yeah. 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 So, yeah, and Williams Brewing, I looked at them today, and you could buy two just the kegs, not the tap, for $23. And then if you just want to get the head tap head, it's, it's twenty dollars. Like, oh, twenty. Okay, yeah, it's yeah. twenty. I think more. Yeah, and more beer has the tap head too. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. So they're really cheap to get into it. Um, you could throw, you know, I'm gonna like the people I brew for. You know, you could split a batch of beer and just give it to someone else. Yeah. I mean, two point two, two point five, close enough. Yeah, it's twenty. Whatever it takes. Yeah. Thirty two, thirty three, whatever it takes. Yeah. <laughs> two, two point two. <laughs> but so, the really exciting thing I was telling Mike earlier is that. Uh, we were watching, when I found it, I sent him a video and we were discussing it. And um, The Kegland guy, you know, the I don't know if he's the CEO or something. He's like, yeah, we're going to come out with a, a four liter keg. Oh, yeah. And sure enough, I looked in there and they have the four liter keg now. So I think it'll be coming to the U.S. here pretty soon. So, yeah. So, so yeah, better. the four liter keg is, or one gallon is 1. only on. Five gallons. Yeah, it's only. Yeah, it's only on the Australian side. Yep. Yep. yep, for sure. So, but yeah, they go up to uh, four bar. Which is actually pretty impressive for. Uh, I think soda bottles support a lot. I'm of sure they do. Yeah, incredibly. That just seems yeah. crazy to me. Yeah, you know, I put a lot of pressure on the. And this thing bottle. really is. It's just a big soda bottle. You can mm. see where the label would go. There's an indentation right here. So yeah, beer, the choice of my generation. <laughs> I was trying to come up with something funny without getting sued by Pepsi yeah, for using no. like an old slogan. <laughs> so, but, yeah. So I mean. Just to kind of break it down a little bit, obviously we saw the, the bottle, but we'll, we'll do a close-up of this here in a bit. I think Mike took some, yep. took some pictures, but yeah, it's just got, um, you know, I think this one is gas in, liquid in, or liquid out, and it has just basically, it's not a floating dip tube, but it's just a flexible dip tube. Yeah. It's weighted, so it goes down to the bottom, um, and then a pressure relief valve, and that's it. So, since this is weighted... Something that I wouldn't have not a third have thought of, but you can store it like this. But if you have a refrigerator or something, you can also store it sideways. You'll notice that the, the yeah. tube will stay on the bottom too. Or so even if you raise the the front up a little raise, bit, you yeah. get like every ounce of beer. You out absolutely of would. So yeah. yeah, these are pretty pretty slick. I'm I'm pretty impressed. If I I guarantee you, if I if they had these before I started kegging and corny kegs, I probably would have ten of these by now. Mm -hmm. So we're going. Jesse's going to do a quick uh, <clears throat> pressure counter. No, not counter flow. A pressure fill of count, one of these yeah. kegs uh, that we recorded a little while earlier. So check that out, and we'll be right back. In a cool new case, we'll see how this goes. 
So this is going from a, a standard oh, five-gallon Cornelius keg. All right, so. Corny to his friends. Corny to yeah, well, I'm not that familiar with him. Let's see here. I think it started going. So it's, I'm trying to fill it up through the, the dip tube here. Yeah, it's kind of going. So we'll see. It's up a little more. We'll do this one. Oh, no, no, that's right. Oh, it's going. Yeah, yep. Okay, good. Want me to lift it up? Sure. I'm going to put it on the keyser. Nice closed transfer. Yeah. So it's only been on, it's only been chilling for maybe three days, so it's not as clear as the hell it should be, but I think it will clear pretty nicely. So these are eight liters, 2.1 gallons. So I get to offload a lot of my terrible beer tonight. <laughs> It's good for sharing. Are you done? Yeah. With your film? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. No. No, okay. okay. So Jesse made a crack about the beer the, we're my, transferring was an Imperial Light Street beer. Imperial Light yeah. beer, yeah. So um learned to brew day, I brewed a Hellas. And I was trying to get tricky. So I did a partial boil, did the so I didn't pull the full full volume, put it in the keg to ferment it, and I didn't take any measurements, and I just kind of dumped two gallons on top of it, which was too much. So I, so it came out like really, really low gravity, and uh, I think it fermented out, and it came out to like, gosh, what was it like, maybe four percent, three point eight percent, or something like that. So it's not Hellas because it's way too weak for Hellas. I was like, well, maybe it's a light a light beer. A lectin is too strong for a light beer, so it's an imperial, imperial light, light beer. beer. So I made up a new style. Yeah. So, um, and for what it's worth, it's terrible. I'm probably gonna dump. I it. thought it was fine. You, you, you've been drinking. Yeah, it? yeah. I mean, like yeah. I said, it's low ABV, and it, it's not a crazy flavored Hellas. Yeah. It's not as hoppy as a light beer, but yeah, um, it's still pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not bad. It's yeah. just when I when I had it, I don't you're know, disappointed. Two, it was, yeah. Well, I was disappointed, and it was just kind of, you know, it was yeah. just kind of flat. It was. Not flat, not carbonated. Just you know, it's like you said, is the malt wasn't quite there. There's no hops, so yeah, it's like drinking flavored water. Yeah. So I probably won't. You know, I was gonna free up the space in the keg right for something else. Anyway, okay. so yeah. yeah. Well, so uh, yeah, check out the kegs if you're looking to transport two gallons. The only design flaw with this is this handle sucks. Um, it looks pretty cool, but if there's anything in the keg, you pinch your fingers, no matter how you hold it. So yeah, I'm, yeah. I don't so just see that there's like a just carry it like that, <laughs> like a like a child. Just <laughs> come here, <laughs> go. No, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> you gotta burp it. <laughs> like, no, no, no. It's okay. Oh, that's there. You go. I hope you feel better. Very but good. <laughs> um, yeah, there's like a, a lip right here. I thought that too. I've carried a full one, but I was like, man, that's going to bite into your yep. fingers. Anyway. Until next time, cheers. Cheers. Thanks for watching our video. Check out our website at coloradobrewtalk.com for more great content. While you're there, be sure to leave us a comment or drop us a line with your thoughts. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter at CO Brew Talk or follow the links below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future content. Episodes, as the case may be. <laughs>